character rigging, we're going to get started with creating the controls for the feet. I'm going to come up under Create, and under Nerves Primitives, I'm going to make sure that Interactive Creation is turned off, so just uncheck that, and then go ahead and create a circle. I'll drop it down there in the center. I'm going to hold down the V key, and with the middle mouse button, just snap that over into the center here, and then go ahead and kind of align it so it's uh, kind of evenly spaced around our foot here. R on the keyboard, I'm going to just give it sort of an initial shape here around the foot. And then go ahead into component mode, right mouse click and control vertex. And we're just going to shape around here a little bit more. And I want to make sure that I am only uh, moving this on either X or Z and not in Y. We don't ever want this control to do something like this where it falls below the grid. Uh, this is where the foot is going to be aligned to and zeroed out, so we always want to make sure that this foot control is right on top of the grid. Okay, so just grab some of these, move them into place a little bit better here. something about like that. So this needs to be uh, animator friendly. The animators to easily identify what this control is. Oh, this is an obvious foot shape. And uh, just accessing it very easily as well. Alright, so that looks good. Back to object mode with that. So we need to move the pivot point right now. If I were to parent this to the heel here, I'll just show you an example. And then we went and tried to move this around. We could see that it's causing some other rotations up here that maybe we don't necessarily want like right there on the knee. So our pivot point really needs to be moved back here to the ankle so it doesn't cause that rotation. So I'm just going to undo what I did there. And let's hit insert on the keyboard. It's home if you're on a Macintosh. I'm going to hold down the V key and I'm just going to snap this up here to the ankle. So I've got it centered on that ankle joint now. Hit insert again to get out of that. Okay. And now I can come here and select this, shift select the control, and hit P on the keyboard. And now if I select this, it's actually going to rotate and move correctly. Okay, this is what we're after here. Okay, uh, I'm just going to undo that for right now. We're going to copy it over. So we're just going to go ahead and duplicate this over here. I'm going to come under Edit, Duplicate Special, and under Edit, just go ahead and reset the settings, and then under Scale X, I'm going to hit negative 1, hit Duplicate Special. That's just basically reversing it. I'm going to drag it over here, and again, we need to align this pivot point into the center of the ankle joint, so I'm going to hold down the V key and middle mouse and snap that into place. Okay, so we've got some uh, transform information over here that we want to get rid of. So I'm just going to modify freeze transforms and I'm also going to delete the history on it. Delete by type history. Do the same thing over here. Freeze transforms and delete the history on it. Okay, so now we can go ahead and parent these. So I'm going to select the the heel right here of the reverse foot roll, shift select the control and hit P on the keyboard. Parents that. Repeat the process over here. Parent that side. Okay, so now our control is in there properly. Let's go ahead and kind of identify these as left and right by color coding them. So I'm going to select this and under attributes, I'm going to come under object display and drawing overrides. I'm going to hit enable overrides and now I can come down here and select a color. You can just slide it along here and select a color you like. I'm going to go with uh, pink on one side 
And the other side, we'll have to do the same, enable overrides. And we can just scroll down here and select another color. I'll do blue on this side. So now we can identify them as left and right. So the next thing we're going to do is just come in here and make a couple of corrections in the channel box layer editor. These controls are going to translate in XYZ as well as rotate, but they're never going to scale and we're not going to be uh, accessing visibility for them. So what we can do is really just go ahead and shut off these last four attributes by uh, just click and drag down here, right mouse click and say lock and hide. So you can see those disappear right there. This way the animator doesn't accidentally ever bump any of these or assume that the controls are set up to, to scale uh, or have visibility turned on and off. They'll know that they're only going to just translate and rotate. All right, and we'll lock and hide this one as well. All right, so in the next lesson, we're gonna get started with setting up some attributes on the, the control here, as well as setting up a set driven key. And we'll do that in the next lesson.